What's going on everyone? I'm Mickey. Welcome back to Lace of Solutions, the number one DSD software in the world. Today, we're going to be discussing a very frequently asked question here at our company, which is how do I track my lot numbers? So tracking lot numbers is very simple. There is an alternative that you can do manually, and there's an alternative that you can do with a system like ours here at Lace Up. So let's start with the manual alternative. In order to track any lot number at all, you need to have your lot number pasted with the label on your packaging. This way, when the order goes out for a particular customer, either warehouse or the driver has a way to document that they delivered that lot number to the customer. So let's take an example. Let's say that you do spices. And within those spices, you have lot number one, two, three, okay, for your item, garlic. So now let's say that a customer requests garlic from you. What you're going to do is you're going to have the warehouse picker document what lot number they picked up of garlic for that customer. So for instance, they're gonna go to the bay or the bin, okay? They'll grab the garlic, they'll view the lot number, they'll write the lot number on a piece of paper. Okay. This is the approach that you wanna follow if you're prepping to make a delivery or to deliver an order. Every single lot number must be documented on the transaction by the warehouse individuals. Now, when you go actually deliver the order to the customer, you have all your lot numbers written on the invoice, you give it to the customer, and now when that invoice is in your accounting system, it contains all the lot numbers, which means you can run any report by lot number to see what customers have it. So that's if you're doing a delivery. If you're doing a DSD invoice on the spot, so if your driver's the one going to the customer and invoicing, then it works a little bit differently. As long as you have that lot number on the packaging, when the driver arrives to the customer, instead of the picker being the one to view the item and write down the lot number, the driver will be the one that views the item, views the lot number, and puts it on the invoice. Now this is going to ensure that that driver documents what lot number he left at what customer. At the end of the day, when that driver brings you back your invoices, you are going to key that invoice in and all corresponding lot numbers into your accounting system. So with the manual process, you're either doing the lot number in the warehouse by your picker where they're writing it on the order, or you're doing it with the driver out in the field where they're writing it on the order. Either way, they're going to write it on the order as long as you have the lot number on the packaging. And when that transaction comes back to you in the back office, you'll be putting that transaction with the lot numbers into the accounting system. So that's the manual approach. The next approach that I wanna talk about is the automated approach. So if you have a system, what you wanna do is you wanna build a barcode that you put on your packaging that has both the lot number and the, the barcode itself for the UPC. This way, if you have a delivery, for example, what you can do is, as the picker's going, they have a scanner or a gun. And as they pick the product, let's say they're picking that garlic with lot number 123, they just go beep, and the system automatically registers the item and the lot code on the order. That's the first approach. Secondly, when that garlic gets put on the truck for a delivery and the driver has the invoice, the driver can have a system to validate the lot code to ensure there's no mistakes. So what happens is when they get to the customer, they also scan the item and that the system will compare what's on the order versus what's on that barcode. If they match, the system will let the driver continue and invoice the customer and print an invoice out. If it doesn't match, it will tell the driver that it doesn't match and it will prompt them to switch the lock code on that order so that there can be no mistakes. So that's for a pre-sales and delivery model. Now, if you're talking about invoicing from the truck, it's a little bit different. When you invoice from the truck, the truck driver will also have a scanner, which is like a little Android, they're called Zebra TC20, TC25. Um, they can also have a little scanner like this. This is a socket scanner with a smartphone. Um, either way, when the DST driver arrives at the customer, what they're going to do is, as they're pulling product off the truck, they're gonna be scanning it like this. Right? They'll be scanning, 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 and the system will automatically add the item 
and the lot number that they scanned. So in, in this automated approach, the driver is the one that scans the lot numbers. The driver is the one that is responsible for adding these lot numbers to the order. But since you have an automated approach, it's that much more simple to scan the item because you're just scanning. With the manual approach, you have to write everything down. With the automated approach, you're just scanning your barcodes and lot numbers and it's automatically adding it to the, to the order or to the invoice. And then when you go back and you transmit all of that to your accounting system, the system will automatically put all those lot numbers into the accounting system so that you don't have to key them in by hand. Either way, by the end of that cycle, whether it's manual or automated, you'll be able to go into your accounting system and run any report for any lot number. In the event that there's a recall, and you'll be able to find out exactly where your lot numbers went. Now, I hope that helped you understand how you can track lot numbers. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. I'll get back to you personally. My goal is to make one piece of content, one video every day that's gonna provide value to you and your company. Also, please like and subscribe to our channel. All of those things incentivize me to continue popping out content for you guys. Either way, we'll see you next time. Take care.